Hey friends, Dr. Mary Starr, the Total Wellness Doc and Mom, and I am back again to talk about a question I get asked a whole lot. Um, with 20 years of business experience myself, people always are asking me, how do I start someone in my business? Now I've done a great video um, that we have about approaching professionals, particularly chiropractors. If you have a home business and you want to approach them about a product or something that you have that might be a good fit for them. And I will tell you that chiropractors, health professionals, every type of professional, hairdressers, business owners, all get approached about all products. So even if you have something that's not a match, but you have a business opportunity that might be a match for them to achieve their goals, that is something that's great. So I've done a video on that, and if you want access to that, make sure that you um, have are subscribed over at our YouTube channel and that you are um, following us too on our newsletter at the Total Wellness Doc and the total wellness doc.com. Okay, so let's talk about starting a professional in your business. So my history in business started over 20 years ago while I was in chiropractic school, I was introduced to a amazing company um, that I shortly fell in love with um, that got me out of living on food stamps and government assistance and um, got me paying my student loan bills, got me just a wonderful life that I live today. And I will be sure to put the income disclosure agreement in the comments or one of my associates can do that for me so that you can see. So over a period of, of years, about 18 months, I was able to earn enough to pay my very high monthly student loan bills um, and just create a lot of security through the years. And today I earn an income, um, well over a six figure income with my company 20 years later. So one of the things about approaching a professional like myself, um, now I found it while I was in chiropractic school, but maybe you have a chiropractor, a hairdresser, um, someone in your family who owns a business, owns a bike shop, any of those things, and you are like, how do I approach them? So there are, the again, the video I talk more in details about that, but when you're getting someone started, I guess I maybe should say getting someone started who's a professional, that's what I should label this. The three things that you have to remember are patience, persistence, and understanding. So those three things, patience, persistence, and understanding. Now, what do I mean by that? What do you mean, Dr. Mary? Well, I'm gonna start with understanding. Again, when you are working with a business owner, there's no 40 hour work week. It's like 60 or 80 hours, like they're always working. They're busy individuals. Whether they're a hairdresser that owns a salon or um, they are a, a store owner, a restaurant owner, things, those are really important to understand that they are very busy. So number one, you have to understand that they are very busy. The second thing you need to understand that they are probably not going to be your main point of contact, right? You really want to find someone else who's your main point of contact that themselves has a lot of stories. So if I were working with another chiropractor, I would make sure that the chiropractic assistants, the upfront people were very fluent in whatever we were selling or doing. They had their own stories, that they had access to, to me or to resources so that they could get their questions answered and that they knew the process of the sales process, right? Whether it's ordering online, whether they're going to have things off the shelf and kind of honestly in my own experience, Sales off the shelves, like retail sales off the shelf is just a kind of a gateway. It's like a, your test market to get people into a more healthier lifestyle. A lot of companies have um, essential reward auto ship programs where they're ordering. So that off the shelf kind of ordering is okay. And that's really where you want to connect with that professional to help them it expose, involve, and upgrade those people. This is all training from Danny Johnson. Very, very good um, training for 
helping you get professionals um, in your business. So you wanna understand they're busy, you wanna understand that their point of contact is probably not them, right? Unless they're just getting started, right? I've gone into businesses where I've helped businesses or chiropractors when they're just starting their business to attract customers to their business. Like you want to give more than you take. You want to give them more than you take. You want a professional networking business. You want to be, if I'm working with a chiropractor, maybe in my town, and I'm going to look for a mutually beneficial business where I maybe, especially if the chiropractor is good, right? I, I'm not going to be referring out to every chiropractor. I want him to him or her to give me business and and vice versa and i'm going to let that person know that that we have an understanding and agreement um, that you're going to carry my products and i'm going to help you network i'm going to help you grow i'm going to help you do all of those things but it is a professional relationship it's an understanding and if 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 they um, don't see things like that, and that's another thing, the third thing you have to understand is not every professional will see the big picture right away. So let's go in the fourth thing about understanding is that again, using those Danny Johnson skills and trainings, she does a phenomenal, um, has really, really good training and I can't pull it up this second, but I'll put it in the comments for you to get to really understand is that you have to know what makes that professional tick. You need to know what makes their staff tick. You need to know their personalities. You need to know what matters to them. Because for me, being able to pay my student loan bill, which was over $1,000 by the time I graduated, that was important to me. To that chiropractor, it may be filling his office. To that hairdresser who's brand new, um, it may be helping her spread the word or pass out flyers or come to a, a event with her expo or him, whatever that is. Like you have to find out what is important to that professional. And sometimes money doesn't matter. Sometimes the professional just wants enough money in the chiropractic world to hire a sub, sub chiropractor who comes in for a week or two weeks and gives them a break right? Or who wants to go on sabbatical for six months or wants to live in Costa Rica. Yes, I have a buddy who lives in Costa Rica. He loves it. He lives an amazing, amazing life, wants to travel. A lot of professionals, business owners don't have that freedom. And sometimes money can change that. So you need to know their exact goals. And you, when you work with us or you work with any of our associates, we make sure we know our business associates goals so that we can help that work them through that okay and Tammy will give out her information here if you have more information about Danny Johnson and some of the um, resources um, what is it magnificent influence or something like that Tammy is the person from Danny Johnson's office she's our concierge that we work with that can help any of you who are in home business and want to do that okay so we need to understand they're busy we understand they're not the point person we need to understand um, them and what their goals are and and we need to understand that they may not roll as fast and the fifth thing that we need to understand is really uh, so many people say if i just got that professional in my business if i just got that hairdresser if i just got that person my business would blow up and that's so not the case to understand it's not about that person it's whatever contact or whatever person you start it's about who do they know right who can we help because I have plenty of professionals in my business and some have done amazing things and some just order the products every month, right? Because that's not their main goal or, or maybe they don't see it or maybe I haven't done a good job at really getting to know them. In fact, that probably is the case many times is I haven't done a good job at knowing what their goals are and how I can help them. So don't feel that getting that person because they you know, own this salon and if they just got the oils in there, that's not how it works. Or this health food store professional who, if they just got the products, no, in fact, sometimes those are more pain in the butt people because they see everything as a retail model and not truly as a 
a networking relationship model. Okay, so that's what I'm going to say about understanding, but I want you to be persistent, okay? You need to be persistent, and it's okay if people say no. It's okay, you know, many times people have to see something seven times. Don't give up, because I will tell you, oh, I have a story. I have lots of stories of people who showed it once or had somebody come to a class once and, and didn't follow up with them, and they were a professional or whatever. But this other person, who was persistent and consistent and had good personal and professional skills, who had some of those Danny Johnson training stuff that I've talked to you about, that you could talk to Tammy about, that person followed up and now that person, the other person was ready. Now they're ready. And that could be like huge bloggers. It could be, you know, a variety of different professionals that, yes, now I'm ready. Now I want to get started. Okay. So be persistent and of course be patient. And patient doesn't mean we sit on the sidelines. Patience means that we just, we give it up to God. We say, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to follow up. I'm going to create systems. I'm going to be a professional. I'm going to be a professional and be patient. And when this person, or if this person is ready, I'll be here um, to help them. So I hope that was helpful to you. I hope that helps you kind of figure out how to get them started. And again, when I'm getting that professional started, it's the same same thing I do with everyone. I want to know what their goals are. I want to see what kind of um, what kind of space they have to fit in uh, the business and in what ways that we can do that. So if their goal is just to cover their $400 or $1,000 overhead, that's pretty easy to do with someone who has a large base of warm market coming in, right? But going beyond that, that professional is going to have to learn other skills besides talking to the people who are in their chair, on their table, in their store. I hope you got that, okay? Helping a professional earn $300, $1,000, at least in my business, okay? And again, you can see that income disclosure agreement. That isn't super hard for someone who has lots of people who trust and love them coming into their store, getting on their chiropractic table or massage table or chair in their salon. That is not super hard, right? It still takes consistent, diligence, professionalism, but getting to that next leap is usually where usually most health professionals will kind of stay in that um, that kind of level of income until they learn until they they grow and they um, get some of that professional training that Danny Johnson talks about smarter networker our networking professional training um, that is available to everyone and they find different ways to consistently get in front of new people. So I hope you caught that. I hope that was helpful to you. This is going to stay up probably just for 24 hours and then it's going to go over onto my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribed onto my YouTube channel. Make sure you're following me here. Um, and I'm on Instagram at Dr. Mary Star. Dr. Mary Star. Um, make sure you get our latest Wednesday wellnesses, some of these business tips. Again, I've been in business for 20 years, and I can help you find some tools and resources that are going to help you get to the next level in your business, start a new business, home business, regular business, stay-at-home business, virtual assistant business, whatever kind of business you want, I can have give you some great resources to do that. All right, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.